hello and welcome to another one of my videos. I am Atomic Swift and this time I'm here with a video about Plex Media Server. I've seen in comments on other Plex Media videos people are always asking, hey, you know, what's a good CPU to use, you know, for a Plex server? People that want to build a dedicated one or buy a dedicated one. And if you don't know what Plex Media Server is, it's a great program that you can stream from your main PC if you want, or you can run it off of a dedicated PC that I like. I have I have a dedicated PC in the corner over there, right next to my main PC. That that's all it does is run my Plex Media Server. All it is, it's a program you install on your computer, and it can access whatever folder you want that has movies, TV shows, music in it and can basically stream it anywhere in the world. Um, you can get the Plex app for your phone, like I can view my server from my phone. You can play music, movies, whatever. It's free. You can go to just Google Plex Media Server or maybe Plex.com is the actual website. I don't know. I've never looked. To, uh, maybe it's Plex.tv is the, the actual home site. but. So yeah, it's a great piece of software. You get a few little enhancements. Like I pay for, well, I paid for the Plex Pass, which is for 150 bucks for a lifetime, I get the Plex Pass. And what that is, is any movie files I add to that folder that the Plex program can see, which you designate, by the way, it will automatically add cover art, a link to the trailer, and like a synopsis of the movie. So it's really cool. So you could just scroll through, like, let me see if I type... Um, yes, so like I hit Fear the Walking Dead and see it pops up, tells you everything right there. Gives you a synopsis, plays a little uh, music from the TV show, like the part of the theme song, and you're good to go. You can stream it. But what a lot of people do is they run it from their, their, their actual PC that they're gaming on, which isn't a good idea because the Plex server does use a lot of CPU when it's transcoding streams. So that's why I have a dedicated server sitting in the corner of, of my computer room. And this is the specs for it right here. These are the specs. Um for this that I bought off eBay. I bought it for $150 refurbished. It's um, a Lenovo Think Center M71E with 4 gigs of RAM and 320 gig hard drive. Now 320 gigs is nothing when you're storing media or running a Plex server so I swapped the drive out for a Western Digital Black 6 terabyte hard drive. The only bad thing about this computer though it's a small form factor, so you can only have one hard drive in, inside. So I had to get rid of that 320. Um, so outside the computer also, I have a Western Digital uh, MyBook 6 terabyte USB external drive, which works great too. So I've got 12 terabytes, roughly, of combined space on my Plex server. Um, this computer also has a built-in speaker, which comes in handy, like if you're, you know, you want to play a movie and make sure, like, when you encoded a DVD or something like that, you know, you didn't get the wrong language or something like that. So you don't need to hook up speakers or headphones. It's got a built-in speaker. It's not a very loud speaker, but you can you can hear the movie. You can hear the music. It's got an Intel Core i5-2400 processor running at 3.1 gigahertz. Uh, max turbo speed is 3.4. Um, I can run about four 1080p streams off this PC in my house and I mean all at once um, I stream music to my phone I listen to music on my phone with this I, I stream uh, TV shows from out of town on my phone it works great it like I said it cost me hundred and fifty dollars if you're wondering the current price for this I actually brought it up on eBay right here this is it right here the Lenovo Think Center small form factor this is what it looks like I have it sitting up on its side so it looks more like a computer tower and it saves space when you do that uh, because it's got a USB hard drive sitting right next to it so yeah this $150 plus $26 shipping. I would look around uh, and try to find maybe one that has free shipping. 
But, I mean, $26 isn't bad. I mean, you get this, and it's factory refurbished, 41-point inspection. Uh, see, they're even telling you, our product go through an intensive 41-point um, <clears throat> inspection refurbished by certified professional. They got a 14-day return. And, uh, oh, they even upgrade the RAM for you. So six, 6 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. But, I mean, even 500 gig when you're storing media, like, that's nothing, you know. I've got some movies, you know, some 3D movies that are, like, fucking almost 20 gigs, so. But, yeah, overall, this is great. I have not had an issue with this. Plex Media Server has not, I have not found a media format that Plex Media Server does not support. Like, anything I put on this server, it plays, no problem. Uh, haven't had to reconvert anything. It runs perfectly fine. You can stream 3D movies. I, I like to use it because I backed up my DVD collection to my Plex server. And it's TV shows, movies, my whole music CD collection is all on here. Music I bought from iTunes, I put it on a Plex server. So then it's in a central location. Works great. So yeah, just in case you were wondering, you know, if you wanted to make a dedicated Plex server, this PC right here is great. Are you going to play video games on this? I wouldn't. This thing is, when it comes to gaming, this thing's probably a piece of shit, honestly. Um, it's got a built, I think it's a, I think it's just got the basic built-in uh, video card. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's probably just got the onboard, which is fine because luckily Plex server just uses CPU. It doesn't use GPU. Although I was reading online that their, their uh, preview build that's out now, which I don't have, actually is starting to use GPU for the transcoding, which is great. Which is great because then you could support more streams probably between processor and GPU. So yeah, if you want a cheap Plex server, like I said, get the Lenovo Think Center small form factor M71E Intel Core i5-2400. And like I said, it supports one hard drive. You know, you can install as many USB hard drives as you want on the outside. There's what, four, I think four, I think four, four, five, six, I think there's six, because there's four on the back, I believe, and yeah, so four on the back, USB 2.0, and then two USB, I think one or 2.0s on the front, yeah, there they go, I should have just looked at the picture instead of trying to look over there, but anyway, so yeah, it's a great recommendation for a Plex server, I've never had an issue with this computer. I've had it running up for 97 days, and it didn't crash or anything. It's running Windows 10 Pro um, at $150. You know, you can't beat that. I said mine was $150. I just leave it running 24 hours a day. The only time it gets reset is if it installs an update or if I just randomly just go, hey, you know, it hasn't been turned off in a while. I'll just reset it. Because at 150 bucks, if it burns out, who cares? You know, I, I, you know it's going to last me a while, I'm sure. But if it burns out, you can just get another one. It's fine, so... So yeah, Plex server is the greatest, by the way. I, I, I heavily endorse this product. It's great. I mean, I'm not getting any money from them, but I definitely recommend this this program. Plex Media Server, that's how I watch all my movies, all my TV is through Plex Media Server. Listen to music through there. It's the best. So yeah, if this video helped you, you know, hit the like button. If you want to see more PC or gaming videos, you know, subscribe. I, I don't release on a regular basis. I try to do maybe one a week, you know, about something, me playing video games with my friends or playing by myself or something. So, yeah, so thanks for watching the video.